Hey there, El Dorado. We have a great Campus Edge coming up for you. That's right. First, we'll take a look at a student-organized group at Butler called Butler Crew. Then we'll entertain you with another installment of Quiz of Grizz. After that, we'll show you a piece on what you can do once football season is over, made by yours truly. Also, we'll share more hidden gems of Butler with you and take a look at what they're doing over in Andover at the IT Institute. All that and much more on BCT Channel 20. Stay tuned, El Dorado. Welcome back, El Dorado. I'm your host with the most, Andrew Herbert. And whatever he's lacking, I'm sure I can make up for it. I'm Dominic Ebersole. Whatever you say, Dom. Now, there seems to be a variety of student organization programs at Butler. Oh, yeah, there are. Do you have any, uh, any favorite ones? Uh, television, of course. <laughs> Suck up! <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry, sorry. Uh, well, in this first piece, uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about a student organization here at Butler known as Butler Crew. Campus Edge reporter Eileen McClaskey is there now to give us the scoop. It's all yours, Eileen. Hello, I'm Campus Edge reporter Eileen McClaskey, and here today we're going to take a look at the Butler Crew. They meet every Tuesday at 7 p.m. here in the 2000 building, located at the lower level. Hi, my name is Alan. I'm one of the leaders at CREW. CREW is a student organization here on campus that meets on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock on the lower level of the Welcome Center. Uh, some of the activities we do, we play games, we have food, we study the Bible, look at life from God's perspective, and just have an all-around good time. fun night on DCC which was a great experience and it's taught me a lot about myself that I didn't even know and I definitely got closer to God and learned a lot and I'm still learning and I'll continue to learn. I've been coming to Butler Crew since last fall like two years ago last fall since I was a freshman and um, a couple of things that I really like about Butler Crew is just having community with other believers. Sometimes, I don't know, it feels like it's hard to find other people who have the same faith as me and who really um, care about following Christ. So it's just been really um, fun to get to know people like Alana who just love Jesus and love talking about him. I'm Campus Edge reporter Eileen McClaskey. Back to you guys. What a nice group. Well, are you going to join? Ah, you never know. Next up, we have Keeson Walker with quiz a grizz No, man, I really love those segments, and I wonder when I'll get a chance to be quizzed. Probably as soon as I do. Take it away, Keeson. This is reporter Keeson Walker, and I'm here for Valentine's Day special. We're going to go around asking people about what they think about Valentine's Day and what they do. Okay, what is your name and what are you majoring in here at Butler? My name is Shawnee Darrow, and I'm majoring in nutritional sciences. Okay. Do you like Valentine's Day, and if so, why? Right. No, I don't like Valentine's Day. I think it's just a waste of money. If you had to plan the perfect day, what would you plan and do, or what would you do? Uh, I guess go to the movies. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what did you do on Valentine's Day? I worked. Any, any, anything interesting you did at work? No, not at all. Did you get any, like, cards from anyone? No, an old person gave me candy. Okay. 
Okay, uh, so, I mean, you have the option to answer this question or not. Are you single? I am single. There you go, Butler. Her name is Shawnee in hey. pre-med science. I mean, hey, she could be a doctor. You never know. All right, what is your name? What do you do here at Butler? What are you majoring in? Uh, Joe Parker. I'm mechanical engineering. That's cool. That's cool. Do you like Valentine's Day, and if so, why or why not? No, it stole my birthday. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard that one before. Okay, if you had to plan the perfect date, what would you do? Um, something about hiking up a mountain followed by a picnic at the top. Adventurous. Adventurous. Hey, ladies, you might want to get someone like that. He's very adventurous. All right, so what did you do for Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day, I watched TV and ate cake. Hey, there you go. All right, so, I mean, it's up to you now. You're, this The question is optional, but are you single? Yes, I am. There you go, brother. His name is Joe. Mechanical engineering. Hey, there you go. All right. What is your name? What are you majoring here or studying in? My name is Sam Capone, and I'm majoring in agriculture business and agriculture communications. Okay, do you like Valentine's Day and why? I've never been that person to really hate on Valentine's Day or really love it, so I kind of go either way. If I have a Valentine, I guess I'll like Valentine's Day, but if I don't, I'm not going to hate on it. I'll just have fun either way. If you had to plan the perfect day, what would you do? I'm not really a romantic person, so probably a perfect day for me would just going out with my Valentine to eat and then hanging out with friends afterwards. All right, guys, that was it for me, Campus Edge reporter Keeson Walker. This is BCTV Channel 20. Back to you guys. Thanks, Keeson. We're going to take a short break, and then when we come back, it's time for football. Finally, football. I know, right, man? Don't change it. We'll be right back with BCTV 20's Campus Edge. Here we go. Another day. Another early start with lots of stops and goes. But today is one day closer to working normal hours, earning more money, paying off bills, and making my girls proud. I can do this. Today might be tough, but tomorrow will be better. At Butler Community College, your tomorrow is closer than you think. Enroll today for spring classes. Butler Community College. Let's take tomorrow. Real simple. At Butler Community College, you take home more than a diploma. You're getting up close and personal with a college experience that fits your needs. It's powerful being a Grizzly. Be honest with your future. We know real education. At Butler Community College, we know our students make real sacrifices to turn their dreams into reality. But realizing your dreams shouldn't bankrupt your future. Get a powerful education at half the cost. Be honest with your future. Real value is quality education and hands-on training that gives you choices and transfers when you're ready. With real instructors who know you're not just a student ID. That's the real power of Butler Community College. Be honest with your future. Real power is getting a front row seat to the action-packed world of energizing your skills for a real career and learning from instructors who really know your name. We know you're ready to get real. Be honest with your future. Glad to see that you guys stuck around. If you're anything like me, you're borderline depressed that football season is over. It's like, what kind of world do we live in when we don't have football season all year round? But check out this piece that I put together on an alternative to help you get your football fix. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler, who almost made... The phenomenal play that wound up in Percy's arms. There are flags on the field for a celebration. Amazing. Butler, a rookie free agent out of West Alabama. Wake up, bro. You fell asleep with your Broncos gear on. Oh, yeah, man. It's, uh... Game day tradition, bro. Gotta bring the team good luck, man. Hey. You know? You must be thinking ahead, man. Whoa, what, are you, what are you talking about? Thinking ahead, bro? The game's today, man. No, man. The Super Bowl was last weekend. What? Game, football season's over, dude. What? Yeah. There's no, there's no more football? No. No football? No! no! 
It's cool, bro. Yo, Madden. Play Madden. I can play Madden. If you're like me, you're depressed that football season is officially over and we have to wait from February, March, April, May, June. <sighs> Way too long before you might be able to see another game of football again. Here are some things you can do in the offseason to get your football fix. Madden, of course, is one of the most popular options that you can choose. It's available on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, and PS4. One of the best features that Madden offers is roster update and roster share. You can always go online and download the most up-to-date roster transactions. So even if you have an older version of Madden, you can still have the most updated rosters available. Some other really cool features on Madden are the ability to either coach, be a player taking over a football team at any position. NCAA Football 14 is still available. This also has a roster share feature where some have gone in, created an up-to-date roster using all the players' real names, what they actually wear during game times, and they also have them on there with the latest and up-to-date stats available. My personal favorite feature on NCAA Football 14 is Create a Team, also known as Team Builder. Go on easports.com slash team builder and create your own football team. This feature gives you the opportunity to not only use a current roster, but you can set everything from your team to playbook, gear, and overall stats as to how the team is played or coached in a game. You can do something cool where you can actually take logos from your favorite unknown high school or an unknown college team, such as I have here with the Butler Grizzlies, and use that team all you want to in any feature, including online or dynasty mode. For BCTV Channel 20, I'm Andrew Herbert. The world's spinning and I'm dizzy. The man be a grizzly. Thanks for the tip, Andrew. I like Madden, but I'm a pro at 2K. Curry! Oh, all jokes aside, for our next piece, we're going to have David Dunger drop some hidden gems on the chamber choir. Take it away, Dave. I'm Zach Thornburg, and my role in chamber right now is I'm a tenor two. This would be my second semester in chamber, so uh, I tried out at the beginning of last spring, and last semester was my first semester. We have 20, and yeah, we're always looking for new people that are wanting to come in. Obviously, we can't get huge, but we can uh, always use more good singers. Always appreciate it. People who work hard. The Headliners and Butler Ladies are a singing and dancing group, all, like show choirs. Uh, Butler Ladies is obviously only ladies. Headliners is boys and girls. And then there's acapella. I think Chamber has a very, very good selection of music. And I'm not saying the other groups don't, but I'm saying the Chamber Choir sings chamber pieces. And uh, traditionally, that's pieces that are very much focused on the music of it, of the artistic and just the beauty in the song. And we try as hard as we can to sing exactly how it was originally written. So using the perfect vowels and having exactly the crescendos and decrescendos if they want. And yeah, we do change a few things if we think it might fit our choir better, but we really make good music. And that's what I love about it, is it sounds incredible when we get it all together and it gets working, it's, it's just gorgeous. Honestly, I think my favorite part, memory, is the one performance that we've had here. It was different because we've sang for other people and gone out and sang, but coming in here and standing in front of everyone and singing, that was the first time that I guess I really understand why some people just are crazy about composing music and stuff. Is You hear the beauty that we made on those few nights, and it got better each night, and how we just... It sounded incredible, I thought. And when we all meshed together on a specific song, Earth Song, is a very, very popular one out of all, out of um, everyone in chamber. When it clicked together, you could hear it and you could really feel the movement of the music and the cluster chords, as Mr. Waters likes to call it, and just how gorgeous it is. I'd like to thank, uh, of course, our leader of um, chamber, Mr. Waters. He's done a very good job. He does an incredible job selecting music. I mean, every song he selects is 
perfectly tailored to our group and it all is gorgeous and beautiful and whenever it starts to come together it all has meaning and has reason behind it and he says often there's a method to his madness there's a lot of things that he does that we don't understand but it seems to work <laughs> and so uh, I'd like to thank him uh, of course in the beginning of March we're having a concert with all the other groups here at Butler and it's going to be here in um, uh, the Butler Auditorium it's at the beginning of March and it'll be great all the groups will be here together and we're all going to be showing incredible music the theme for this concert is camera the first concert was in uh, the fall was lights and this one's camera and the last one in May is of course action so it'll be a lot of fun very descriptive music is what Chamber specifically is doing other groups I know are doing similar music that describes that uh, maybe shows beauty of things and so it'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. Ah, I remember when I could sing like that, man. I should have joined. No way. Sing something now. <clears throat> I'm going to need a little bit of time to, to prepare, bro. Great. This would be a perfect time for a commercial break. Once we come back, we'll have reporter Carolina to enlighten us on the IT Institute on the Andover campus. And we will see if Andrew here can sing. Don't go away, because you don't want to miss this. You really don't. I can sing, bro. I'm sure you can. I can. Brett was forced to change, becoming another statistic to the economy. But he knew he didn't have to be another number. Butler gave Brett the power to retrain as an individual. So, at 44, Brett found the power of personal attention, small class size, and an education at half the cost. For Brett, those are the sort of numbers that kept him from becoming one. Brett found a fresh start at 44. He discovered his power at Butler. How will power change you? Welcome back, guys. I'm Dominic Ebersole. And I'm Andrew Erber, and we seem to be coming to an end. Yeah, we have one last piece with reporter Carolina giving us a tour of the Andover campus of the IT Institute. But before we go any further, Andrew, will you sing for us a little bit? Anybody have water? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not there yet. I need some tea with honey, somebody. Well, no problem. We'll head over to Andover with Carolina, and then we'll be right back to listen. Take it away, Carolina. Hola, guys. I'm Carolina, and I am here with Campus Edge. But before we begin, have you guys heard about the IT Institute? I'll take that as a no. So how about we drive over to Andover and find out what the IT Institute is all about. The IT Institute was formed from a Department of Labor grant. We received a $2.7 million grant uh, from the Department of Labor. And the major purpose, major goal of the grant is to employ, uh, retrain students and employ them into industry. We also are a PAA participant focused school and that means if someone has been dislocated or laid off from their job, we would like the opportunity to retrain them for a specific uh, skill set. IT programs and the importance of them not only at Butler but at many different community colleges has really increased over the past few years. In fact, Thomas Perez from the Department of Labor has indicated by the year 2020, there will be over 14 million jobs in STEM and less than 5 million employees to fill those jobs. So we're really seeking the need to fill those in the future, uh, hence the reason why we're focused on interactive 3D technology and gaming and cybersecurity and internet working management. These are fields that students can begin working uh, directly after earning a certificate or earning an Associate of Applied Science degree. We started out with uh, six programs, six degree options, and four certificates. And now we have six degrees and 24 certificate options for students. We do have quite a bit of diversity in our programs. Uh, predominantly, we have been a male, white male, dominant field, however, in the past couple of years, we have um, attracted more women, more Hispanics into the field. I expect in, by the year 2020, especially with the increase of the 14 million occupations that uh, Thomas Perez has indicated there will be, 
we'll certainly see a huge increase in diversity from not only um, predominantly white, but it will probably change and be more Hispanic, definitely more uh, African American, uh, even more uh, Korean and Japanese cultures working in the fish industry as well. All right, so here we are in our green screen room at the Butler IT Institute, and this is one of the rooms that was funded with the Department of Labor $2.7 million grant that the college received. In this room, we'll be able to do live broadcasting We'll also be able to transform the online learning environment so our online students can connect with real-time collaboratives that are in this green screen room. Here we're in the interactive and 3D technology computer lab. Here we've got the 3D scanner made by the MarkerBot where you can scan an image or an object and transpose it into a 3D model. Here is one example of a 3D printer and we also have another one over here which allows you to print your objects and uh, have an actual object that you can hold. It could be a game character that maybe you have designed, or a cell phone case, or maybe just a small object that you're using in a game. At the IT Institute we also have an Alienware computer lab. In this computer lab students design their games using code and also explore HTML and CSS. The game engine that we use for our programs of uh, game design is Unity. In this lab, we have uh, created an entire lab full of Alienware computers, custom with Alienware headsets, keyboard, mice, and monitors. At the IT Institute, this is one of the smaller green screen labs that we have on campus. In this lab, we can customize our game animation movement by using Xbox 360 controls we can move our characters by connecting the joint devices, move and animate. Wow, that was a lot of information about the IT Institute. And if you guys liked it, make sure to like the Facebook page at Butler IT Institute. And this was Carolina and I'll see you guys next time. Wow, they have a lot of cool programs that I had no idea about. Yes, thank you, Carolina, for that information. Well, that about sums it up. We took a look at what Butler crew and continued the series of Quiz a Grizz. Andrew showed us way to get our post-football season fix, and Dave chopped a few hidden gems on the chamber choir. And lastly, we got a tour of the Andover campus and its IT Institute. We'll see you in two weeks with a fresh episode of Campus Edge. In the meantime, check out the reruns of this show weekdays at 11 a.m. or last week's show at 6.30 p.m. on BCTV Channel 20. Or you can check them all out on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash user slash Butler Radio TV. But before we go, Andrew is going to do us the honors and sing for us. What? Hold up. What did you say, boss? We're out of time? Oh, sorry, bro. I can't, man. There's no time left. Uh, we'll see you guys next time, El Dorado. This has been Campus Edge. What? Wait, no. Yep, sorry, man. We're out of time, bro. No more time. See that? It's right, it says it right there. It's yeah, even on no, the teleprompter. Okay, okay. See that? Yeah. There it is, man.